everyone, it's Sam, and today is Saturday, June 10th, and I thought I would do another, my second Timu haul, and I feel like Timu is an online, like, Dollar Tree, it's, what I mean by that is you, you don't, it's an assortment of stuff that you get, there might not be a rhyme or reason to this stuff, and what I like to do is, if I'm looking for something on Amazon, I will search Timu, and most of the time I will find a cheaper, the same, it's the same product, but it's just cheaper on Timu. And the shipping is really good for it coming from China. You can't beat it. It's usually around a week turnaround time, which I find amazing. Uh, but before I get to any of that stuff, I just wanted to mention the last few days have been really wacky with the Canadian wildfires. Uh, if you've been following me, you know that I live in Jersey, but I traveled through Staten Island and Brooklyn and the sky has just been crazy especially Wednesday to Thursday uh it literally did turn orange and the air quality was terrible we had to send I work in a public school and we had to send kids home with a mask on Wednesday and I couldn't leave the building without masks so I'm thinking about those all of those who are affected by the Canadian wildfires and that you're uh keeping safe and healthy okay let's get started the first thing <laughs> is so silly but I've had my eye on it and I finally got it hello how are you <laughs> I was going around the house when I first got this and I was just talking like interview style to my family uh, so it comes with a long it's a long cord here and then it comes with these two things hanging off the end I do have to get some sort of adapter to make this work but I I love when people use these in their videos it makes it so much more amusing to me they're just so funny so I got that the next thing is so these are earwax removers and technically you're supposed to use them only on the outer and it's a really bad habit of mine I do go all the way in sometimes and I know I shouldn't it's one of those things that you know you shouldn't do but I just do it because it feels so good uh, but I'm going to try these and try to keep it on the outer part of my ear. Got those. Next is this gentle face exfoliator. Uh, you can take this part off, but I'm not going to right now. But as you can see, you can remove that to help you clean it. And I think this is going to actually be very nice for when I want just a gentle exfoliation on my face and to help me wash my face in the shower and at the sink. Uh, next is this so it's called crystal hair removal and i've seen this um on amazon and on other videos and I i've always been curious about it so it looks like this and you're supposed to help you take your remove your hair let me just so i got the silver one and then this side if you touch it it is it's sticky but your hand doesn't like really stick to it but you could feel it a little sticky on there I'm curious to see how this works um, it looks really interesting and I, I mentioned this the last video that there's not really if I see a brand on here I will try to show it to you but this is you could if you look you'll find like hundreds of these show up in the search and it just depends on where you get it from. There's stores on there. There's like a million stores on Timu and it just, I obviously go for the lower price. And then next we have, these are, you put it on your wrist and when, and when you wash your face, this collects the water and I don't know what it is but I become like an animal when I'm washing my face it just is at the sink obviously it just this whole part I need a splash guard just for me I don't know um, it gets wet all over here it goes drips down my arms and it's so frustrating I've been using um, I have furry like headbands that are animals and stuff on there but that's it's stretching that out and it's just it's bulky so I've been wanting to get these for a long time and I got these and hopefully I can't wait to use them hopefully they will work out the way I think they will okay next is a mini fan and it came in this box it's a rechargeable mini electric fan and I have one but I think I'm gonna keep that one at work and then this one will be for my desk it came with this 
so you could I guess hold it in your hand and then uh, the charger that's what I find with uh, electronics they don't give you the adapter they just give you the cord uh, but I thought this was so cute it's retro and I think this might have a name I'm not sure uh, but yeah it's a green one and it's so cute size comparison Next is the silicone covers for bowls and things like that. Uh, so there's six different sizes ranging from this is pretty small, medium, and then a big one. But the big one, I don't know. It's not too big. Uh, anyway, uh, my main concern with these is that it's going to lose like the stretch. But we'll try them out and see. They were pretty cheap for six. Then we have, this is a cook, call it cooking machine, superior product source. What else does that say? Cuisine around you, kitchen. I don't know, but that's the box, cute box. And then, so this is a mini chopper. I have a food processor that works really well, but it is big and sometimes I, I just need something small, you know, to chop stuff. I don't need this huge, huge thing. So. It comes again it's a rechargeable I believe and here's the top and you get the power button there and then you take the top off and then here is the blade and I just thought like you know if I want to chop garlic I don't want to take out the huge pro food processor processor <laughs> uh, I thought this would look nice and this was uh, there were two sizes and I got the bigger one I think this is 250 ml and then I so to be 100% honest, which um, I know some people <laughs> are laugh when uh, some people have a thing when other people say that, but it's just a phrase, right? I don't know where that came from. Anyway, uh, this is a rice cleaner, or yeah, to clean your rice. And I don't always, I didn't grow up doing that. And it's just something that I have, it's a practice that I have to remind myself to do. And I know some people clean their rice three to four times uh, and the part that bothers me is when I'm emptying the water and this is perfect for that so you wash it and then you drain the water out this way and I think that will make me more inclined to uh, clean my rice uh, so I can't wait to use this and then so I've been seeing this it's a bird feeder uh, but it's acrylic so you hang it up with the you know these things here and I can't, why can't I remember the names of these? That's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> uh, so this, you put the food in here. And I just got the food today from Amazon. So that's awesome. And you stick it. I think we're going to put it in our bay window in the front. Just because we sit there a lot. And I think uh, it'll be nice to see the birds eat the food. Hopefully they will. Uh, and my neighbor has one too. And I've just been seeing them everywhere. I saw it uh, when I was walking around uh, by my school. And it's just, I've been meaning to get this. And I think it's kind of cool. So I am excited to start using this. And then the last thing I want to share with you is this sign for your door. It is this one right here. And it says, welcome. We hope you like dogs. Oh, we love dogs in our house. We have two. My sister has one. And this is a pretty good sign the only thing is, and I did get a refund for this, which that was easy peasy too. You just can't go wrong. They did want a picture of what the problem was. Um, so this is placed in between my front door and the storm door. And it just, I think it created too much heat and the bow fell off. I've tried it, I tried to glue it with my glue gun, but that didn't work. It just came off. So what my sister did was she used string and that's been keeping it up. Uh, the flowers, I would say, if you look too close, they are obviously plastic. But for the price, I think it was three something. I really like this sign and I think it's super cute. The sign itself is well made. This is the part that was the problem and they gave me a refund, no problem. Uh, but that is the end of my Timu haul. I'm going to start to, I think, do reviews on Timu uh, just because most of these products I have been loving and I think uh, it's there's a couple that you know are 
fails but, but overall I'm really satisfied with my purchases and it's a great way to try stuff without breaking the bank um, I'm still shopping at other places but Timu has become one of my favorite places to shop I just ordered again uh, end of the year stuff and I got face mask and these like shower steamers that I'm gonna give to my co-workers um, and that was for eight people that was I spent like around $16 which I thought wasn't that bad at all um, and I got a few other things that I can't wait to share with you let me know what your favorites are from Timu that you have gotten and I will talk to you soon bye